course, best known as the store of Ally McBeal, my first guest can currently be seen in the off-Broadway play The Vagina Monologues, and later this summer in the new film Things You Can Tell Just By Looking At Her. We're thrilled to have tonight Callista Flockhart. <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming. Oh, gosh. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, I'm, I'm, you're a big star. I'm, I'm really excited to see you. You're, you're adorable. Oh. Huh. I, was just, I was just saying it in the dressing room how cute. I knew you were. They told me that you were going to do that. Oh. <laughs> That kind of takes the they, fun they, out of it, doesn't they, it? Yeah, they said he's going to go like this. And growl That's not it. it. You just did a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go, arr. See, girls don't like that. Actually, they don't like any of those things I was doing. <laughs> uh, well, listen, thanks very much for being here. This, this, uh, you're in this play. It's what brings you to the city, the vagina monologue. Yeah. And this is, uh, first of all, this is a title that probably a lot of people have a hard time getting around. Do you know what I mean? They have like, seriously, they have, well, they giggle or they, you know. You know. Or they don't even know what it is. Right. There are those. Really? Yeah. Who don't know what a monologue is? Um. <laughs> all right. Oh, that was good. I'll behave. <laughs> yeah. That's good. So, but people must have strange reactions. Like, people must, you know... I've heard that people are more comfortable sort of with, with the title by the end of the play. Once they've seen it, they just, they know what the play is about. Yeah, I think, that there's, I think that there's a misconception that people think it's porno or it's something, but it's really just a night about celebrating women. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and by the end of the night, everybody is pretty into it. Right, right. <laughs> so even, up, <laughs> even uptight people are leaving, yeah, like they, throwing they, that word yeah. around left and right. Yeah, because it's, 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 not a, it's really about empowering women and... and right. You know, it's for a good cause, and right. I think people get caught up in that, and, and they and they understand it after. Tell us what part do, what part do you play in in this show? <laughs> no, what character? Not what. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't play a vagina. <laughs> right, right. But um, I, I do. I play. <laughs> I tried out for that See, role. I think that <laughs> everyone, everyone's a little nervous. They get nervous. Like, yeah, they're laughing like. Hysterically, uh, like well, in that way. I've built a career on nervous laughter, yeah. <laughs> so don't worry about that. But what, what is your your character? Well, I play a couple of characters, but one of the characters I play is a uh, sex worker who does sex work with women, mm -hmm. and her goal is to um, make them moan. Oh, it's like it's like a version of therapy. It's to make them. Yeah, it's, well, it's you know embracing your sexuality and. Right. and and going for it and right. and moaning right and you, and and are there different i understand there are different types of moan is that right yeah there uh, yeah there's there's a couple of different can types. we hear there's, can we hear anything uh, please well there's let's see um there's the uninhibited militant bisexual moan mm -hmm. Jewish moan. Uh-huh. No! <laughs> no! No! Oh. Uh-huh. Um, there's, uh, there's the wasp moan. Uh-huh. You'll like this one. It's, it's like this. <laughs> I haven't heard um, any moaning for quite a while, so I'll enjoy any of these. Yeah, you'll appreciate this one. This is the wasp moan. <gasps> <laughs> nice, nice. And, um, and my particular favorite is the baby moan. It is. They're interesting and yeah. fun to listen to. Well, how do how do how do uh, how do men react when you 
do those in the show. Be like... You know, I'm so involved in my own thing, I don't even notice what they're right, doing. No. Right. I think people are really, um, they laugh a Cause lot. Because men get insecure on yeah. that subject of, is the woman happy or, or are they not, you know? I'm often just told to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, I brought it up. Let's change subjects um. to one we're both comfortable with. You have this new film, Things You Can Tell Just By Looking At Her. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Who do you play in this movie? Well, I play a tarot card reader. Mm -hmm who um, at the moment is going through a really hard time. Her lover is dying of, of cancer. Mm -hmm. And so have you ever had your tarot card read? I've never done anything like that. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I don't want to know. Not that I, I'm not even sure I believe, but I don't even, I'm not, I don't think I want to know. No, I don't want to know either. I had it done to me twice. And both times I got the death card. And I was like, okay, that's it. Right. But they were, you know, they convince you. They say, no, 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 it's not about death. It's not about death. It just means that some part of you is going to die. Some bad part of you is going to die or something you're going to let go of. And The and death I thought, I don't card care. doesn't mean death? I don't want the death card. It doesn't, it supposedly doesn't mean death. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. I hope. No, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's such a weird, oh, no, that card means nothing. I'll say, <laughs> you said it was done to you. Like you were jogging and a guy ran alongside you. <laughs> Get caught, you know. <laughs> You know, when I was playing the tarot card right. reader, I, had, I did a little research, and, and um, I, re I met some really wonderful people, though. They came and read my cards, and, right. and I, I got nervous. I, didn't, I don't want to know either. Yeah, I don't want to know any of that stuff either. either. But, but the other thing I wanted to bring up is last season, of course, it was a big deal that you had a lesbian kiss with Ling on the show. And now in this movie, you have... A lesbian kiss. Is this a trend? Do you see? Do you, do you see the? What's happening here? Yeah, well, it's just a coincidence, I right. believe. Right. Right. You know, Allie was kind of exploring her sexuality, and and in in, in this uh, movie, I'm just playing a girl whose lover is dying, and she right. happens to be gay. It's really not about that. But, right. Not but, about that at all. Yeah, but, but I get to kiss Valeria Galena. Yeah, she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like to kiss a woman? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, well, the, uh, well, uh... What does it say? What's that say? Conan asks question, <laughs> you laugh. All right, it just says, and then Callista laughs again. Right, Callista laughs, laughs again. again. Callista laughs says, again. you're adorable. Right. <laughs> Conan growls, well, Callista <laughs> says, they told me you'd say that. No, these are just all the questions written out. I see. I'm not so smart. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Vagina Monologues is, uh, runs through this weekend. Yeah. And but no, no, no. I am in it until Sunday, but it keeps going. Keeps going, that's so right. So you'll have an opportunity to go see it if, if you right, but you're are in it so inclined. You're in it through this weekend. And are you, are you going to come? Sure. I'd like to see the show. Really? Yeah. All I'll right. be in the audience like, yeah! Woo! When? I don't know. When do you want me to come? Commit. <laughs> I was going to go like drinking with my friends that night. <laughs> no, I'd, I'd love to come see the show. That I'll would come be great. see the show. I will get of you a ticket and you will come. I okay. will come. Yeah. <laughs> you no, know, I'm not going to stand up Callista Flockhart. And uh, Things You Can Tell Just By Looking At Her comes out later this summer. Yes. yes so congratulations does. on Thank everything, you. all your Thank success. You. It was great having you on. It was, it was really nice to meet you. Callista <laughs> Flockhart, everybody. The big show is coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Thank you.